Ready? Found something outside for you. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Her children, tonight's contestants, Cedric and Angelina, have been living with their aunt and uncle for over the past year, but they will rejoin their mother for her next tour in Japan later this month. Welcome home, Staff Sergeant Nequita Newton, and congratulations, Cedric and Angelina, both winners in tonight's Dick's 25th Dizzy Bat Race. Here's to the beer that has always been there. Here's to Budweiser. Here's to baseball. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. Enjoy responsibly. Budweiser beer and high school St. Louis, Missouri. That's the point of the gift. Yeah, you're opening a birthday present. We forgot. We forgot to bring Jared's gift because it arrived today too. Okay, well, do you want to go back and get it and then come here and then I'll open it? Yeah, let me go get it. Okay. Well, I'll wait. Bye, guys. Wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We can. We can wait. Getting out anyway. Oh my God. song the time of my life you give that to me and you know i've, I've got to do this here because okay. this <laughs> will, will you marry me? a dancing with the stars shocker and for once we're not talking about an elimination noah galloway proposed to girlfriend jamie boyd who didn't see it coming at all i'm speechless and i'm never speechless <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. Or is that a yes? Is that oh, a yes? Heck yes. <laughs> Noah got down on one knee during his backstage interview after earning rave reviews and a score of 36 out of 40 for his performance. Of course, the crowd went crazy. We see you, Demi Moore. Even Tom Bergeron needed a minute before throwing to a commercial break. Can I, can I borrow your tissues? Congrats to the happy couple.
for an army chief warrant officer returning from a year-long deployment in Afghanistan, but he will have his three children. Today, the single dad went school to school, surprising each of his kids. And now his news reporter, Leo Stalworth, was there for all of the emotional reunions. California Army National Guard Chief Warrant Officer David Duran has been away from his family in Afghanistan for a year. That is until today when he surprised his 14-year-old son at his middle school in Lincoln Heights. <sighs> Feels good. I want to spend the, the whole time with him, every minute. Oh, this is raw emotion, you know, that's just the way it is. The, the, the battles are not just overseas, you know, the battles are, are here at home. I'm a single father, so having my sons, or uh, having my kids, you know, uh, endure that, um, the uncertainty of, hey, is my father ever coming back? David understands how blessed he is to have his dad come home. He understands that not everybody will have the opportunity that he has. He's a very sensitive kid. After surprising his boy and getting a certificate of appreciation from school officials, at Nightingale Middle School, it was time for Chief Warrant Officer Duran to give his next child... <laughs> Nicole Duran, a senior at Lincoln High School, the same heartwarming Valentine's Day gift. I love my dad. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so wonderful. Honey, your daddy's a hero. <laughs> I love him so much. And sweetie, you were not only crying, you were shaking. Yes, I, I was. Just, I, I didn't expect him coming. I thought he was going to come Saturday, we were going to pick him up. Could you have asked for a better Valentine's Day gift? No, I couldn't. This is, this is amazing. I, I love this. It's a great gift to give her. You know, it's a, her senior year, so it's a pretty special moment that uh, I'm glad I was able to give her. We're not done, folks. Chief Warrant Officer Duran will be arriving here at the third and final school to greet his third and final child, giving that child the heartwarming Valentine's Day gift of a lifetime. Fourth grader Luce Duran was filled with tears of joy as she threw her arms around her daddy at Gates Elementary School. We always think of those reunions, and I'm just one of the fortunate ones. Every day, including Valentine's Day, our hearts are with our troops. Leo Stallworth, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Awesome good news. Yeah. Would you like that on this Wednesday? Here's a story that might just have you grabbing the tissues, but it's a sweet one. It is. A local soldier has come home from Afghanistan, surprised his family, too. We love these stories. Take a look. Here's News 8's Josh Scheinblum, live in Ellington with that story. Josh? Darren and members of any family will tell you that time apart can be painful. Now imagine if there was a father who had to spend more than a year away from his children. It's a reality that members of military families live with every single day. But at least for one family in Connecticut, that's a chapter of their lives that at least for now is now over. I'm so excited to have the magician come. A day at camp can be magical especially when there's a magician who stopped by. Big round of applause for magician Brian Kent. At Camp Indian Valley in Ellington, it just so happens when it comes to this particular magician, he has a little more magic up his sleeve than on a normal day. What's your name? My name is Ethan. Because on this afternoon, he's being assisted by nine-year-old Ethan Christensen, a young man who isn't afraid to laugh at himself. We are going to play a game of dress-up. Which is a good thing because the joke is about to be on him. After 13 months apart, 
he'll soon be reunited with his father, Major Timothy Christensen. And Ethan has no idea. What kind of, what kind of hat do you call that, do you know? Military hat. A military hat. Have you ever seen one like that before? Yes. All he has to do is turn around. Let me take this. Let me take this. Oh, oh, sorry. oh don't let that touch the ground. Okay, can you give it to the guy behind you? That is also the correct rank. What? That is also the correct rank. Wow. You're going to return it to that guy behind you. Anyway, guys, what we're going to do next, do you want to just give it to that guy? Sometimes to bring a family together, all it takes is a little magic. Hey, buddy. Ethan wasn't the only surprised Christensen in Connecticut today. His sister, Emily, was also surprised by her father at the Hartford stage. For now, we're live in Ellington. Josh Scheinblum, News 8. Okay, come here. I got a big I got a surprise for you. A big surprise. You ready? Oh, my sister's on the, uh... Are you ready? For both of you. Did y'all miss you? <laughs> you scared me! It's <laughs> me, <laughs> I didn't know you come, came home on December. It's November. Yeah. It's, it's, November, it's November. Oh, yeah, I got coming home in seven days. 